India has gifted two water jet propelled fast interceptor craft to Mozambique military. India has issued a 1,700 km no time warning for a missile test in the Bay of Bengal between 15th to 17th November. Bangalore based DCX Systems has secured an international order worth 460 crore rupees from Lockheed Martin for the supply of critical electrical assemblies. Pancha Tejas Innovations Private Limited has successfully tested India's first indigenous electric to bar less totug. Bharat Dynamics will locally manufacture the Pansir air defense missile gun system that will be offered to Indian Army's 100 self-propelled air defense gun missile system requirement. After J-35A stealth fighter, China has unveiled another stealth drone at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024. Hindustan Aeronautics has issued a request for proposal to co-develop and manufacture 195 advanced electronic warfare suite for its light combat helicopter program. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has successfully indigenized the O-ring, that is used for different sealing applications and pipe flanges in various systems on board submarine. A four-member defense delegation headed by Guyana's Chief of Defense Staff visited Bharat Electronics Limited and Troops Comfort Limited. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries has awarded a 700 crore rupees contract to Hyderabad-based Hazard Engineering for the supply of rotating and stationary airfoils for advanced gas and thermal power turbine engines. After Israel's Ministry of Defense finalized a $5.2 billion deal for 25 advanced F-15 fighter jets from Boeing, experts have started analyzing potential pricing for the Indian Air Force, if a similar acquisition were made under the 114 MRFA tender, and compare it with the cost of the French Rafale aircraft. In case of Israel, each F-15 aircraft will cost $208 million that includes associated infrastructure logistics spares maintenance and training costs, while the cost of the 36 Rafale aircraft ordered by India in 2016 had cost $236 million per unit, including weapons support training and infrastructure setup costs, and the current MRFA tender would bring the total projected cost for 114 Rafales close to $26.9 billion. Experts have said that India should take up the Russian offer for upgraded Tu-160M strategic bombers, as they will be highly effective in case of a large-scale counter-terror strike or targeting enemy infrastructure in a single sortie, while conventional fighters would require multiple missions to achieve the same result. The Tu-160M equipped with 45 tons of long-range cruise missiles will allow for high-altitude penetration and low-altitude evasion. India could also leverage the Tu-160M's endurance and range to conduct patrols over the Indian Ocean region. The recently cleared two nuclear-powered attack submarines under Project 77 will also function as SSGNs, also known as guided missile submarines, due to which the Indian Navy is exploring the integration of 2,500 km long-range cruise missiles and hypersonic weapons systems aboard its SSGNs, that will be designed for tactical strikes against high-value targets. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.